We want to turn now to a disturbing story about an incident involving female students at a New Jersey high school. The Wall Street Journal first to report this story. Just listen to the opening paragraph. When girls at Westfield High School in New Jersey found out boys were sharing nude photos of them in group chats, they were shocked. Not only because it was an invasion of privacy, the images weren't real. So how did they do this? One or more of the male classmates apparently used AI technology. The images are fake, but the faces of these students are very real. It's unclear if this is criminal. We will discuss that with our legal analyst in a minute. But it is disgusting, and it should have never happened. First joining us right now is one of the students affected by this, Francesca Mani, a sophomore at Westfield High School, and her mother, Dorota Mani. I want to thank you both for coming on. I know this is a very difficult time, and, and Francesca, I'm sorry you, you had to go through this. Um, you did want to speak out. Can you tell our viewers why? Um, I just want, I, like, I want everyone to know how this is, like, not okay. I think I want justice for the girls, and I just don't think it's okay. How did you feel when you learned that you were one of the targets in this sort of sick sending around of photos? I couldn't believe my ears. When I heard it was one of my classmates, I was shocked. I'm not going to lie. I did start crying because I was very emotional. But while I was walking through the hallways, I saw a group of guys laughing at a group of girls who were crying. And that's when I got really mad and, like, I wanted to change this. And I wanted to make sure that everyone knew it wasn't okay. Dorota, you're the mother. I I'm a parent. I, I can't imagine what it must have been like for you as well. Yeah, I mean, it has been shocking, it has been shocking on many levels. Um, one, as Francesca just pointed out, we are dealing with uh, classmates, uh, so it can happen to any anyone uh, of us, by anyone. Um, it has been, um, at best, interesting on how the administration of uh, the Westfield High uh, handled the situation. But listen, I feel the most important thing is right now to learn from it, use it as a platform to grow, um, send a clear message to the girls, not only of our school, but just to the girls in general, that no, this is not okay. And if no one is standing up for you, you should self-advocate. Um, and for anybody on the other side of the spectrum who is creating those AI images, that there will be consequences. Also, I feel um, it's a little bit more complex, right? We should also look at the legislation in place right now. Uh, I find it unacceptable that New Jersey has nothing in place to protect our children. Um, so that's something that uh, myself and Senator Bramnick sit down on Monday and immediately um, decided to change to make sure that not only New Jersey children are protected, and I say children because it could happen not only to girls but also to boys, Dorota, um, but also that we can, yeah. Did, did they have to explain to you sort of what had happened here? I mean, because it is a little complicated, and at first I, I got to think you were sort of in a state of shock when you heard this. Yeah, you, you got it. That's exactly how I felt. I felt shocked. Um, explanation was uh, somehow vague. Uh, there were a lot of misleading information coming out of the uh, administration, and I'm talking here of school administration, um, emails versus what has been uh, printed in Westfield le um, Leader to what other parents were informing me of. So it's almost he said, she said, nothing concrete, nothing that parents would be able to grasp and understand truly what is going on. Francesca, how did, how did the girls find out about this? So basically the day before we all found out, all the guys were keeping a secret from us. And one guy by mistakenly told another girl, and that's when the girl told all the girls, and that's how we found out. I mean, you know, these are people who are your friends. You said your classmates. I, I got to think that... All of you, all of your friends just sort of felt incredibly terrible and also violated in a way. Yeah, they right now they're uncomfortable walking like the hallways if they see him like they're scared to take a test next to him. So am I like I just don't think it's like normal for we us to just think. Yeah, no, no, I, I hear you. We know the school did send out an email to, from what I understand, the parents of the school. It, we want to put it up on the screen. It, it reads in part, at this time, we believe that any created images have been deleted and are not 
being circulated. This is a very serious incident. We are continuing to investigate it and will inform individuals and families of students involved once the investigation is complete. The email also says the school is offering counseling. Dorota, do you think this is a crime? Uh, listen, it's not for me to decide. That's why we have legislations. But I think I want to point out one thing, is that the school says all images has been deleted. Uh, they have no proof of such a thing. Also, we all know there's such there's a, a digital footprint. So if somebody says, uh, don't worry, and that's something with the vice principal inform me over the phone on Friday, October 20th, don't worry, it was just Snapchat images. They last for three seconds. And um, and by the way, they were deleted. It, it just makes me nervous, very nervous that this vice president is running a um, high school with or, you know, lack of knowledge or just um, lack of empathy. Francesca, have any of the, the people involved in this, allegedly involved in this, have they apologized to you? Um, no. No one, no one, no one from that group has apologized from me. The boy didn't apologize to me, but a lot of other boys like came and asked if I was okay and if I needed anything. But the boy didn't apologize to me. Dorota, the school has not confirmed to NBC News whether or not any disciplinary actions have been taken. What is your understanding of, of how this incident is being handled by the school and and are students being suspended? Are are, are their parents being sp spoken to? Sure. So as of right now, we, we are not very clear if it was just one um, uh, boy or it was a group of boys. That's something that it's still being investigated and really not um, uh, uh, transparent to us parents from outside. Um, but we did were aware that uh, one boy was suspended um, uh, over the weekend for Monday. Um, he chose not to come back on Tuesday. He was back on Wednesday. And then, Dorota, how, how concerned are you about how this could potentially impact your daughter in the future? Uh, well, a lot, right? I mean, she's taking uh, power in her own hands right now. She's advocating for herself and other victims. She's creating a website that will be helping AI victims. Uh, but we all know digital footprint lasts forever. Uh, that might, at some point, impact her socially, academically, professionally. It did definitely impact her emotionally. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely uh, that. Francesca, before we go, your mom talked about some of the work you're now undertaking. I mean, I, I know I think you're only 14 years old. I, I feel so bad that you have to go through this at such an early age. What, what steps are you taking to make sure this doesn't happen to other girls just like you? Well, I want, as my mom said, I want to make a website with all the AI resources. So if any girl needs help, um, they can go to a, to that website or if any boy needs help they could also go to that website and I just want to like bring this like worldwide so everyone knows what can happen even like if it's your classmate it doesn't have to be some creep on the internet Francesca Manny and Dorota Manny we thank you for your time and your courage for coming on top story so the big question here as we asked Dorota's mother as, as we asked Dorota were any laws broken here I want to bring in NBC News legal analyst Angela Senadella for more on that so Angela we know that the images were fake right they were created by AI but they used real photos of these girls 14 years old still a little girl in my opinion um, is this a crime Yes, and I'm going to say that definitively now knowing Francesca's age, which is 14. So if any image is obscene, sexually explicit, and involves a minor, that is child pornography. It doesn't matter if it was created. It even includes cartoons, depictions, drawings, art. Anything that involves a child, a minor, that is sexually explicit is child porn. It has nothing to do that this was AI, that, that this AI won't cover this, right? That it is clearly possibly child pornography. Yes, it doesn't even matter whether or not you are drawing someone and there's no even clear indication of who that child is. So I understand there's not explicit legislation involving AI, but when you look at a statute, you look at the meaning. The fact that they include drawings and cartoons would easily cross apply to AI. So I would definitively say this is child pornography. There's so many questions here because you, you have potentially another child who used the AI software to create this pornographic image. Is is the technology moving so fast that the laws and definitely the regulations have not caught up yet? Yes, and that's a problem with big tech overall. Even these giant lawsuits we're seeing against Google and Amazon 
by the time the government has done their research, done their discovery, big tech has moved 10, 100 steps ahead. So in this case, the regulation is far behind. But this is why I think stories like Francesca's are so important to share and why it's so wonderful you're sharing this on your show, because lawmakers respond to what's in front of them. So laws then will change as a result of this. And from what I understand, some lawmakers, including senators, are me meeting with this family. Um, do the parents in this case have any legal recourse? I think they have a few different options here. So first, against the perpetrator, look, harassment, intentional affliction of emotional distress. In Texas, a woman won $1.2 billion against an ex-boyfriend for revenge porn, yeah. also potentially against the software, the AI company. Those services are not supposed to allow children to manipulate images into child porn. And then lastly, in hearing this interview, potentially the school districts. School districts are sued all the time for bullying incidents where they don't pay attention and they let things like this happen. So these families potentially have a lot of options here. What do you think the takeaways here? You know, you're a parent, I'm a parent, we both have daughters and it's like, you think about the ages where your kids can get phones, other kids are gonna get phones whenever they want. But I, I mean, it, the technology is moving so fast and obviously there's no regulation. I mean, it, it's a pretty scary world. Yes, which is why in circumstances like this, what matters most is being a parent, is yeah. talking to your own child. The laws will never catch up. There will always be things kids can do that will take them much farther ahead into deeper trouble than what's written statutorily. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.